I am someone who has consumed hours and hours of online dog training content, so believe me when I tell you that they are not all created equal. RobertCabral.com definitely has the best online learning platform available. Definitely make sure that you check them out and use my code MALLIGATORMOM to save 10% when you check out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Malligator Mom, and today I am going to attempt to answer yet another very commonly asked question, which is, what are the grooming requirements of a Belgian Malinois? And more specifically, people wanna know, is it comparable to that of a German Shepherd? So Riot is actually right in the middle of blowing his coat this summer. And I have this brand new grooming gadget that I'm gonna try out on him today. So it should give us a pretty good idea of what you can expect as far as pulling all that undercoat out and, and all that shedding. I'm also gonna go ahead and give him a nail trim and just show you guys what it's all about. So if you're curious what the grooming requirements are of a Belgian Malinois, stay tuned, I got you. So when it comes to grooming my Belgian Malinois, I typically grab three things. The first one being a Furminator brush. I'm sure lots of you know exactly what this little tool is. It's really great at pulling all of that undercoat from your dog's fur. The second is going to be a really good, high quality pair of clippers. Do not cheap out and get a cheapy pair of clippers. Go ahead and get the nice, heavy duty, quality, expensive ones if you can help it. Um, you know, cheap clippers lots of times can end up cracking or splitting your dog's nails. So this is not the time to be frugal. And then also I have a Dremel, which I just got this at my local hardwood store. I think I picked it up at Lowe's. Um, and I will have the uh, links for all of this on my website. So if you go to malligatormom.com and you click on the products page, I actually have links to literally everything you could possibly imagine that you might need for your Belgian Malinois. If it's something that I've used or if it's something that you've seen here on my channel, chances are it's on that page. And I actually update that page pretty often. I will add or take away, depending on my experience with a product, from that page. So if you're interested in kind of a resource for where you can pick up all these things, then that's definitely it. So check out my website, malligatormom.com. And then if you guys are interested in supporting my channel, it would be amazing if you would go check out my apparel. So I actually make this tank top here. It comes in Belgian Malinois, as you can see on the back, but I also make it in German Shepherd and Dutch Shepherd as well. I also have hoodies available and t-shirts, all kinds of really cute stuff. So if you guys are interested, please go check it out, malligatormom.com. It's a great way to support our channel. If you don't want any apparel, I totally understand that too. But if you could make sure that you please like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications, that also goes a really long way in making sure that you support our channel if you're enjoying our content. So let's go ahead and get started. As I said, I am a huge fan of the Furminator, but what I'm an even bigger fan of is finding solutions. So if there is something better out there on the market than the Furminator, I'm all about giving it a shot, which leads me to today's gadget, which is called a neat bot. So this is actually um, a Furminator brush, but attached to a vacuum canister, which, um, really could be amazing. If, if it really works like it's supposed to, then I'm gonna be all about this thing. So we're going to unbox this and we're gonna use it on Riot today and see how it goes. So what do we got here? We've got the clippers, which is great, but I'm probably never gonna use these because I have a Belgian Malinois and I don't actually um, you know, cut or shave my dog at all. But I will probably take advantage of this, which seems to be like a vacuum attachment for getting hair and lint off of things. And because it's so small, I could see myself probably using this in my car. Um, and then a standard um, just you know, edger type tool. But the ones that I'm most excited about, obviously, are these ones. Now, this is a brush that most closely resembles the Furminator, and it has a little button here on it, and you just push the button, 
and it causes the hair to release and then supposedly be sucked up into the canister. Um, and then this is very similar. So again, it's just a button that you push the button and it is supposed to release and the hair goes down into the canister. So these are the two that I'm going to be trying out today because these are the two that I will be using the most. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on and see if we can get Riot to cooperate. So scratch that. I'm actually gonna go ahead and hook this up and turn it on first so I can see how loud it is because I think the only problem that some people might have in using this product is that if it's really loud, a lot of dogs are gonna be turned off by that. Um, Riot is pretty is a pretty sound dog environmentally, so he, he probably won't have an issue, but I just kinda wanna turn it on before I bring him out here and let's see how loud it is. Wow, that's actually really quiet. Can you hear that? I don't know how well the sound translates, you know, into the video, but that's really super quiet. Uh, I imagine most dogs will probably be able to tolerate this just fine. Oh, and just a quick tip. Um, if you think that your dog might have a problem with the sound of the vacuum, go ahead and leave this running and bring your dog into the room with the vacuum already turned on rather than bringing him into the room and then having to turn it on in front of him. You might generate less of a response if you do that. So just a quick tip. Here, lay down. All right, so here we go. Riot is not bothered by the sound of this. I did go ahead and leave it on uh, before I brought him out here, so he doesn't really seem to mind it. So let's just see. All right, so here's a big chunk of hair. Push the button, and it sucks the hair up. So like, there's a pretty big chunk, you see that? And gone, look at that, it's like magic. Look at that. That's pretty great. Look at that. See again? Gone. There's some more. Gone. Look at that. So it definitely appears as though this is doing what it's supposed to do, right? Um, it's definitely pulling out that undercoat that he is shedding right now and it's definitely making it so that I am not covered in hair and there's not hair flying all over the garage. It's just sucking right up um, into the port, just like it's supposed to. The only downside I think I see so far is that this is already like half full. So the canister is pretty small, which means that it's gonna fill up and I'm probably gonna have to empty it several times during this brush out. Um, but it's still a hell of a lot easier than the hair going everywhere. It gets in my eyes and my eyelashes, in my mouth, my face, my, my clothes are covered. I find it all over the garage. And to think, I was actually super, super skeptical about this. I was like, this is gonna be one of those gimmicks that just doesn't work you know i really thought that i did not have high expectations for this product i'm being honest but um wow right like th this is pretty cool this is this is pretty awesome i'm i'm a fan i'm a fan so i'm gonna go ahead and get him all brushed out and then um we'll catch up when it's time to do his nails look at that bam rather quickly. I'm going to go ahead and empty it, which you just pull up on it. And then um, it looks like you just pop this open. Yep, just 
just like that. And then I will go dump this and we'll start again. we had about three canisters when it was all said and done. This is just a couple. So basically Riot had like a little bunny living in his fur somewhere that he was hiding. But um, there was one drawback. It did take a really long time. And I suspect that that's because the brush is actually half the size of the Furminator. So I'm literally having to do twice the amount of work. So it actually took a really long time. However, this absolutely does what it says it's gonna do, and it definitely kept the hair from getting all over the place. Like I said, it usually gets all over my face, all over my clothes. It's flying all around the garage and into the neighbor's yard. So this definitely helped with that. So now we're gonna move on to trimming Riot's nails. And Riot is actually the best dog ever when it comes to having his nails done. And I know that that's because I spent a lot of time conditioning him to that as a puppy. But for those of you that might be struggling with that a little bit, there are a couple tricks. I highly recommend getting one of these interactive mats. You can smear peanut butter on this and then the back has suction cups on it and you can stick it to your bathtub or your refrigerator, any flat surface basically. And this will keep your dog's nose busy here while you're doing other things like brushing, bathing, doing nails. So this is a great thing to have and there's a link to this on the products page of my website malligatormom.com so make sure to check that out. So Riot always gets lots of treats when we're doing his nails and I just happen to have his favorite on hand but you can get whatever your dog likes. Lots of times I'll do peanut butter kongs or I'll do string cheese, things that keep him busy while I'm dealing with his nails. So I like to just cue him in and get him started by letting him know that he's about to get a really big paycheck here to let me do this. So one other trick that I like to use when I'm trying to get my dog to cooperate for nails and that kind of thing is to actually sit down on the floor, put your leg just like this and lure your dog under just like that. So this way you have a little bit of pressure here on the top to keep them in position and kind of cue them in as to where you want them to be. And it gives you access to their paws. So this is just one way that you can help get them into position. Alligator mom video without the plane flying overhead, would it? So one thing to keep in mind when you are grinding on your dog's nails is that that can actually get really hot. So just make sure that it's just a few seconds at a time and then you're releasing. Um, otherwise, it can get really hot and it burns and it hurts. So just be careful about that. Huh? We don't want to hurt you. No. The good boy. Okay. So obviously the grooming needs of your Malinois are gonna vary depending on the type of coat that they have. As you can see, Malinois come in a wide variety of different coats. Fury here and Storm here are definitely a lot more uh, wire haired and short haired. Whereas Riot here that you saw earlier is actually got a very thick coat with a lot of undercoat, uh, more like a German Shepherd. So he actually has to be brushed way more often than Fury and Storm with their shorter wiry coats. So really it just depends on the type of Malinois that you have and uh, how often they're gonna be brushed and how much they're gonna shed. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, like and comment, and we will see you next week. I feed my personal dogs Munster Milling Custom Kibble for several reasons. 
I like to make sure that my dogs have the best of the best every chance I get, and Munster is simply unbeatable. Munster partners with local farmers to use local ancient grains, and these are free of gluten and other inflammatory sugars. They also have some of the highest protein from animal sources that exist and have more calories per cup than almost any other food on the market. My highly active and athletic dogs need a diet that can be fine-tuned to their needs. And with Munster, I can choose from over 3,000 custom additive combinations. More calories means less food, means less waste, if you catch my drift. But one of the best things about Munster for me is the convenience of their auto ship feature. Where else can you buy custom dog kibble that's made fresh to order and mixed and shipped right to your door? Nowhere. So be sure to use my code if you want to give it a try. It's MALLIGATORMOM35, and this will get you 55% off of your first custom bag. So head over to MunsterMilling.com today, and you will never buy another store brand bag again.